Alright guys, I'm going to replace my tail lights on my 08 Tundra with these spider LED tail lights. I broke this actually when I was bringing the Studebaker home. I kind of jackknifed the trailer and things happened and that was the damage. It didn't break the tail light on the Studebaker, so I was happy. These were about $200, $190, something like that. So we're going to go ahead and put them on and see how they look. comes with some form of instructions, which I'm surprised. I don't think I've ever seen that before. One, something like this. Remember they say professional installation required. Packed pretty well. And I did get the, the red ones. I wanted to kind of keep it looking kind of stock, but just like an updated or an updated look. These kind of look a little bit more like the, the facelifted second gen, uh, gen Tundra lights, which my headlights kind of look like, so I figured I'd kind of stick with that. I don't have smoked headlights, so I just went with the more standard looking lights. But yeah, you know, just from the side, it almost looks like the factory. They look, they look pretty good. I mean, it's fairly heavy. Um, it only comes with LEDs for the, the brake light, which is this part. And then the, the running light should be these two like C-shaped things here. But I do have LED bulbs for the turn signal and the reverse lights already. But I would say first impressions, they look pretty decent. I'll replace the left side first so we can kind of do a comparison of how bright the lights are. I do have LED brake light bulbs in these housings also, so it's not exactly how it would look if it was just a stock light. You just have two T30 bolts holding the lights in. There's just a couple of um, these little tabs on the side. And you can just unscrew or un... just kind of unscrewed, it's turned to the left. So you see there's my brake light bulb. Turn signal. And reverse light, they're all LED. This uh, is actually so I don't have a hyper flash for my turn signal. So the way that it should work is move little things. And you should just be able to pop the turn signal and the reverse light right in. Oh, actually, yeah, you would, you would still need this because we're using we're reusing the turn signal ball. So yes, yeah, so if you want to do that, you need to have these are called uh, load resistors, equalizers, basically just makes the circuit draw as much current as it would normally do with the regular bulb. So we have those in, I'm going to remove the bulb for the brake light and plug in, let's see, it's got writing, it says warning, black to black wire. Okay, so this can go in either way. Usually you can put these in either way. So line, it says line up the black with the black on the connector. So we're gonna do it like that. And then you can just push this all right inside of the light and then just clip it in just like it was a normal wall. That should be it. Pretty good. Well, smart. I probably put like some kind of NICs on these, which I don't actually think I have. But maybe just some oil. If you have NICs, that'd be best. But any lubrication is better than no lubrication. Just 
snug it down, don't go too crazy. Okay, so that's the taillights. Yeah, the taillights look good. Seems to look pretty good. I gotta hit the brakes and see what the brakes look like. There is both installed with the turn signal going on this side. You can see it's not hyper flash because you have the resistor in there, but uh, it all seems pretty bright. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty good. You got your reflector over here. You got your reflector right there. My parking sensors are going crazy because I got the ignition on. But yeah. I would say it is a decent upgrade. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.